Not a day goes by that is free from conflict. Every day, it appears we are constantly dealing with people that just seem to push our buttons. <laughs> Why is that? Well, we're human and in relationship with one another, we have conflicting needs, goals and values. We have imbalances in our access to resources and there are differences in opinions about the rules that should govern everyone's conduct. So we argue. The way we respond to conflict has its roots in our upbringing and culture. Some of us can argue ourselves into exhaustion and some of us will rather take cover and wait out the storm. So if we're going to build conflict resolution capacity, doesn't it make sense to find out our default conflict response style so we can practice making better choices in the future? Let's take a look at the Thomas Kilman conflict model, which illustrates how people typically behave when faced with an uncomfortable situation. As we go through each style, be on the lookout for your default. At the top left of the quadrant is competing. This is a win-lose style. An individual pursues his own concerns at the other person's expense. They use whatever power seems appropriate to win their position. At the bottom right is accommodating. This is a lose-win style. Here, the individual neglects his own concerns to satisfy the concerns of the other person. There is an element of self-sacrifice in this quadrant and it might take the form of selfless generosity, obeying another person's order when you'd rather not, or yielding to another's point of view. At the bottom left is avoiding. A lose lose style. Here, the person neither perceives his own concerns nor those of the other individual. It might take the form of diplomacy where they sidestep or postpone an issue until a better time or simply withdraw if it's a threatening situation. At the top right is collaborating, a win win style. This involves working with others to find solutions that fully satisfies their concerns. It means digging into an issue to pinpoint the underlying needs and wants of the two individuals. It might take the form of exploring a disagreement to learn from each other's insight or finding a creative solution to an interpersonal problem. In the middle of the model is compromising. The objective of compromising is to find some mutually acceptable solution that partially satisfies both parties. It might mean splitting the difference between the two positions or seeking a quick middle ground solution. Now, it looks like the goal of the model is to compromise. In my opinion, collaboration is a more effective way to solve everyday problems and we might want to consider it being at the center of any conversation where the goal is to find agreement. With your new awareness of the five conflict response styles, let me know what your default style is in the comment below and I'll see you in the next nugget.